Hi everyone, welcome to Catchwalks. We were just driving past and we saw a sign to two amazing sculptures and we thought, well, why not drop in? Because there are geocaches around here too. Mm -hmm. Come and have a look with us. We're up in Scotland and we're based out in the countryside and traveling around. There they are up there. They're huge. They sure are, they're enormous. Mm. They look so cool. They're beautiful. Narrow boats on the canal alongside and then up to the two sculptures, the Kelpies. We're heading over to log a virtual geocache here. The Kelpies are the largest equine sculptures in the world, standing next to an extension of the 4th and Clyde Canal. They're 30 metres high and weigh 300 tonnes each. They're built of structural steel with a stainless steel cladding. The forms are inspired by Clydesdale horses. They represent the lineage of the heavy horse of Scotland's industry and economy. They were pulling the wagons, the ploughs and the narrow boats on the canal. The sculptor Andy Scott created three metre high miniature versions in his Glasgow studio. These were then scanned by lasers to help the steel fabricators create accurate full scale components. You can see the narrow boats on the canal there and the water runs right through to a lock just here and then up to the kelpies. We get a nice back view here, see what they look like down here. Quite nice, isn't it? Alright, go across the lock here, lock gate. Have a look at both sides of them. Okay, you can see the main hanging down here. Going up to the gears sticking up. Let's go in and see what Lynn's looking at. Camera in carefully through the hole here. There's the floor. Let's turn it up and see if we can see up the top. Okay, we should go geocaching now, Lynn. <laughs> it's a good idea. We've had a quick look, haven't we? Yep. Um, okay, oh, 75 metres is the virtual, so okay. let's go. Which direction? Over here? Yes. Okay, let's go. Uh, around, around more towards the front. to do for this virtual win? Uh, walk to the canal lock between the Duke and Baron. Count the number of planks across the width of each walkway on the lock gate. Back to do the counting. Well, we've got one more task to do and that's take a photo. And it's a special one. And it's just for the Bruce Zero, <laughs> because normally I wouldn't do this, but I'm going to do it just for him. The Bruce Zero's path tag. Okay, on to find a traditional now. Hmm, it's 400 metres. 400 metres. Yeah. Look, we've got a 
canal lock here for the narrow boats coming along the canal. Yeah, that's interesting. That's quite cool, isn't it? Yeah, it does. It's nice walking along the canal, the edge of the canal, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It's windy, but it's actually quite pleasant because you can see the, the seed pods falling off those um, plants. Look mm. nice. Some sort of thistle. Yeah. Okay, the cache is called the Blue Bridge, and this is a Blue Bridge. Yes. <laughs> it's looking good. Which side is it? On the other side of the bridge, then? Um, no, I think it's on this side. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's only 20 meters. All right. And what's the hint? Do we know? Um, hint. Middle right under magnetic good hint. Should be easy. Can't see too many places to hide a cache. No, oh, magnetic. What was the hint again? I don't think it's magnetic, it's going to be on top of the bridge, isn't it? Yeah, that makes sense. There's nothing here that you could uh, hide a cache in, really. No. Right, up on to the top. <laughs> and the problem with middle right is which <laughs> way are you coming from to get to the bridge? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm going to get some of those blackberries on the way back. Mm. <laughs> you can see the Kelpies way in the distance oh, from that. here. We searched and searched. Okay, looks like I did not find. Ah. That's a, what a nuisance. Disappointing, isn't it? Yeah. There's plenty of others to find during our visit. Well, this brings us to the end of our cash walk at the Kelpies. Hmm. They're amazing sculptures. And uh, Cash the Live, we hope you enjoyed <laughs> seeing the place that you've been to, because I know you've got Scottish heritage. Anyway, pity about the did not find, but hmm. these things happen. Yep. And we've had a great time. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to go geocaching. <laughs>